The Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy has assured that Nigeria will intensify efforts in partnering with stakeholders in the technology sector to foster change, enable broad uh, opportunities in building the Africa Tech Innovation Network. The, this assurance was made at the maiden edition of the Global Tech Africa Summit, an initiative designed to help Africa transform and sustain technological innovations for the acceleration of creative entrepreneurship and rapid economic growth. The event was organized in collaboration with the National Information Technology Development Agency, United States Consulate General, Ascent Studios Foundation, and Future Map Foundation. I wanted to thank all GTA summit and conference represents more than just events on the calendar. They are milestones in our technology that waits, placing us at the forefront for innovation, growth, and prosperity as a nation and continent. Our national digital economy policy and strategy provides a compass necessary to navigate the dynamic digital period. Uh, framework across the world to oversee this, this incredibly interesting but challenging uh, new technology. Why I came to Lagos a year ago, I beg to come here because this is the heart and soul of the tech revolution that's happening on the continent. And the U.S. Uh, is striving to be Nigeria's number one partner. Do you think you've seen startups? You haven't seen them yet. And when you think about the fact that just FinTech accounted for over 50% of the inflows and the funding uh, well, 50 or more of the funding that came into the tech ecosystem, that clearly reflects a huge opportunity for growth and investment. The Nasarawa State Governor, Abdullah Isuli, has sent the names of 17 commissioner nominees to the State House of Assembly for consideration. The Governor also requested approval to appoint 20 special advisors, which was granted by the House. Godwin Agwam reports. Members of the Nasarawa State House of Assembly making their way into the hallowed chambers of the house and getting ready for the legislative business of the day. This is an emergency sitting and it is at the instance of the speaker. The speaker informs the house of the list of commissioner nominees sent in by Governor Abdullah Suli for consideration. The governor is putting forward 17 commissioner nominees to the house. Prominent among the nominees are the state chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC, John Mama, former secretary to the state government, Ali Tijani, a renowned lawyer, Labram Magaji, among others. I have the honor to forward to the Right Honorable Speaker nomination for confirmation of appointment as Honorable Commissioners and members of the National State Executive Council. The nominees which I have the pleasure to submit to the Right Honorable Speaker and indeed the Honorable House comprised candidates of proven candidates, experience, commitment, and loyalty, as well as spread. The Assembly directed the nominees to submit 30 copies of their curriculum vitae and appear before the House on Tuesday, the 1st of August, for screening. The Governor also requested for the approval of the House to appoint 20 special advisors, and this was granted. After fruitful deliberations, the House adjourned sitting to Monday, the 31st of July, for continuation of legislative business, <laughs> Godwin, Aguam, TVC News, Lafia. President Bola Tinubu has expressed the willingness of the federal government to support global tech giant Google Incorporated to create one million digital jobs in Nigeria. The president gave the assurance at the State House Abuja when the Google Global Vice President Richard Gingras paid him a courtesy visit. President Tinubu told the visiting Google executive that Nigeria had creative and talented young people who are ready and motivated to learn, especially at the age of artificial intelligence, stressing that the tech giant has the capabilities and tools that the young people need to excel. The Google vice president was accompanied by its government and public affairs manager in West Africa, Adewolu Adeni, and premium science publisher, Dakpo Olorinyomi. It's a visit from the vice president of Google, global vice president, and uh, uh, he paid a courtesy visit to Mr. President and also uh, discussed 
areas of uh, mutual you know, uh, support and assistance between the two. Uh, we, he also said uh, that he's, he followed uh, with interest uh, Mr. President's uh, programs and what he wants to achieve for this country, especially in the digital space. Uh, Mr. President uh, promised to provide at least one million vo uh, employment or jobs for our young, teaming young uh, Nigerians. I was very pleased to be here in Nigeria and extraordinarily pleased to meet with the National Security Advisor and the President. Uh, as he's noted, uh, Google is committed to Nigeria. We believe strongly in the importance of developing the digital skills in your society as we have in other societies in our own and we look forward to being a supportive partner in that regard. Well, I think, you know, first of all, in any society and democracy, it's important that we have a skilled society and that we develop the digital skills within that society.